take the other journey, second journey, second missionary journey. So many beautiful people out there. Let's take second missionary journey to the also carry out to use our some of our command. So to start with the first step to while working on AutoCAD drawing is to set up our page. So how do we set up our page? Go to draw format. Go to format then go to limit. So enter zero comma zero, which is like setting our reference point, our coordinate, then enter. Then the comma means you lock the first command. So then show limit specify up and right corner. Upper right corner. So now I will go about this. I use 21,000 by 29,700. This is not a default. This is not a fixed value. I just make it up. The size of A4 paper, which is 21 centimeter by 29.7 centimeter, or 21 mm by 297 mm. So much. I just multiply that by 1,000, which is 21,000 by 29,700. The purpose of setting up our page is like we are working. We cannot draw a a a4 is an a3 drawing on a4 paper it's not logical it's not rational so we have to make our, our workspace big enough to portray the drawing that we are working on so let's go to view after that then we we'll go to all to zoom all so our page is ready then we we'll, we'll work on our unit so let's go to unit format unit then we go to we change the position depending on the work we are doing, what we are working on. I will leave it to zero. I will it to mm. You can change it whatever you want to work with. Degree should be position should be zero. Okay. The position also is just just tells us how the number of decimal places we want to work with. That's it. Okay. It's okay. Uh, we are good to go. Let's start. Let's draw. It. Let's keep draw it. a box of one meter by one meter. So. I'll click on the line. I'll click on any one of the You will see the drawing is moving in a, in a polar manner. So, in a polar manner. So, to change it to a straight line for precision to a particle, a straight line, perfect straight line, I click on auto on the status bar. So, here it is. And see this is in mm. I'll enter 1000. Enter. I'll move my mouse downward or upward vertically. Anyhow. Enter 1000. Enter. Move it horizontally again. 1000, enter. Then instead of entering the next 1000, I will just click on the last edge. It will show you the end point. So that's why AutoCAD is good. It will show you it, it work with precision. It will show you the last edge. So let us make, if you check this drawing, it is the separate line. If you delete this line, the other li the other drawn lines are there. So let me undo. Let's see how polyline works. Drawing the same. The same drawing. 1000. 1000 move horizontally again 1000 then boom we are here so if you click on the drawing you see they are grouped so we can change it to we can disengage them by a click on exploding so you click on explode it to disengage the drawing you see it has been disengaged it has been some assembly then you want to go remove them to highlight. How you highlight on AutoCAD? Highlight is like selecting your drawing, your object. So you make sure you are above the object you want to because so this this plot is cross here. You can increase it if you like. I will show us later on how to increase the cross here. So your cross here should be above your object. Then you click from left to move to right and make sure your selection covers all your drawing. So this is so there's another way to select you move from right to left to make sure it's below the drawing you want to cover or if it's above anyone you move from right to left but the difference between selection is that this selection anywhere it touches it fits you see but the other one it must cover all before it's select. it selects it will not select until it covers all so let's highlight them then you go to join to change it to the polyline of the species that's been good. So that's what to you check your dimension. <coughs> the dimensions might not be fitted, we have to set it because the size might be smaller than the page. So let's go to format dimension style. Let's go to dimension style. So let's go to modify. Modify. You can create new dimension style. 
we like so which so the decision should be very the number of decimal you are working with depends on how you like it see the dimension will not be visible because it's small let's go to the content let's go to arrows symbols and arrows and make it 75 so that it's not visible so you see set as correct That dimension. So to repeat the last of himself, go back down. I just say press space bar. So and we are there. It's quite simple. Simple bar. <coughs> so let's see how another dimension to how our our modifier works. So I want to draw a rectangle of three meter by one meter. So move horizontally three meter. So we move vertically one thousand one meter. So now instead of going horizontally again, I use escape to cancel. Your escape working as your cancel to disengage your crosshair or your command to cancel your command. So instead of I want to make this of offset now, instead of just moving horizontally, this I'm doing the same thing. So I will just click on offset and the modify palette and enter one thousand and click on the line that I want to offset and move to the cursor. The cursor of my crosshair or my mouse towards the direction I want the offset to go. So I will just click on the workspace. So now, okay. For this other one, let's go to offset again. Or you click on your space bar if it is the previous command that you did, and enter 3000. So here we go. Let's say I want to divide the, <coughs> I want to divide the, the rectangle. So I'll click on offset. And let's say 1.5 into 2 half. 1.5. So I just click on the line. Here we go. <coughs> so to save your document, you click Ctrl S or you click on this save icon on the this area. So if you pop up, pop up like this, you have an extension name dot dwg. So to start your drawing, to save your drawing rather. You see, we have not to cut anything. Yeah, there are times you need to step down the, your drawing. Why? Because you want to send it to someone to work on. The person is using an AutoCAD fashion that is lesser than your own. The drawing will not open. So to save your, the person all the stress of all that, you just step it down to, let's say, 2010 or 2013. So AutoCAD 2013 can open any AutoCAD fashion. For an AutoCAD of higher fashion, you work on an AutoCAD of higher fashion. An AutoCAD of lower fashion will not open that drawing. Well, another call of higher fashion can open any AutoCAD drawing. That's how it works. So let's see how our trim. So we want to draw a cycle. You click on the cycle. You click on the workspace. Then you enter the, the, the radius. So let's say 1000. You want the, the diameter to be 1000. You enter the radius of 500. You want to be 1000. You enter the radius of 1000. Let's say 1000. That means you check the radius to 1000. You check the diameter to be. Just click on. The radius is 1000, the diameter is 2000. Go to your, your dimension, click on the object you want to check. The, you see, this is diameter 2000, the radius is 1000. So let's see how trim works. <coughs> so our trim, this is how it works. You click on, you click on trim, this is it. Then you right click on the workspace. And you click on the line you want to trim. Before you can trim the line, make sure there is a vertical line that the horizontal line is crossing before you can trim. Before you can extend, make sure there is a vertical line that is beyond the line you want to extend, the horizontal line you want to extend. You can extend horizontally, you can extend vertically, and even your trim works the same way. So now, mind you, your, com your trim command can be changed to can be changed to extend command by pressing shift. So you see, so I'm clicking on shift. You change it to extend, you see. It's extending the line. So that's how it works. <coughs> so that's how our trim works. You just click on the line. You click on the trim icon, you right click on the workspace, then you click on the line you want to trim. And to extend, click on this drop down arrow and click on extend. Right click on the workspace and you click on your line you want to extend. And that's how it works. I don't want the video to be long, 
I want it to be concise and brief and well detailed enough. So I will continue on working on our modified palette in the next another other uh, palette in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Please do subscribe and like this channel. Thank you.